Hello students. Today I am going to start a new chapter from plus one chemistry. Chemical bonding and molecular structure. Okay, chemical bonding and molecular structure. Okay, please listen. We know that atom is the smallest particle of an element. Okay, except for noble gases, the atoms exist as aggregates of atoms known as molecules okay when two or more atoms combine together to form molecule the force of attraction which holds the atoms together in a molecule is called a chemical bond okay the force of attraction which holds the atoms together in a molecule is called a chemical bond okay for example some force of attraction holds the two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom in water molecule in H2O. H2O, the formula H2O indicates what? When two hydrogen atoms and oxygen atoms held together, some force of uh, held together by uh, some force of attraction. Okay, this force of attraction is termed as chemical bond. What is meant by chemical bond? The force of attraction which holds atoms together in a molecule is called a chemical bond. Yes. Now a number of questions may arise in your mind regarding chemical bond. First question, why do atoms readily combine to form molecules? That is the first question. Why do atoms readily combine to form molecules? The second question Why do elements combine in fixed ratio only? Okay, why do elements combine in fixed ratio only? In water, the ratio between Hydrogen and oxygen atom, we know 2 is to 1. Yes. That means when uh, two hydrogen atoms combine, uh, combine together with, uh, combine with uh, one oxygen atom forms water molecule. Why do elements combine in fixed ratio only? Third question What is the nature of force which keep the atoms together in a molecule? What is the nature of force which keep the atoms together in a molecule? And the fourth question, why do molecules possess definite shape? For example, the shape of uh, BeCl2, beryllium chloride is linear shape. The shape of BF3 is trigonal planar shape. The shape of methane, CH4, is a tetrahedral shape. Yes. Why do molecules possess definite shape? In this unit, we shall try to answer these questions on the basis of various theories like uh, causal Lewis approach. Valence shell electron pair repulsion theory, 
valence bond theory and molecular orbital theory yes 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 first let us uh, discuss about causal lewis approach to chemical bonding yes this causal lewis approach this is the very important theory related to chemical bonding according to uh, this theory that is called causal uh, lewis uh, approach inert gas means uh, helium neon argon krypton xenon and radon the inert gas do not enter into chemical reaction with other atoms the noble gases are chemically inert the noble gases do not enter into chemical reactions okay the inactivity or inertness of these noble gases mainly due to the presence of eight electrons in its valence shell okay noble gases having eight electrons in its valence shell these noble gases are chemically inert yes then i am going to write the electronic configuration of the important noble gases some noble gases first element helium helium atomic number 2 its electronic configuration is we you know 1s2 next element neon atomic number is 10 electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p6 then next argon atomic number 80 its electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 yes here the first element helium atom has two electrons in its valence shell outermost shell helium atom has uh, only one shell and that is k shell the k shell has two electrons the next element is neon the valence shell the outermost shell of uh, uh, neon is a second shell that is l shell this l shell having eight electrons Okay, two electrons present in S subshell and six electrons present in P subshell. Two plus six, that is eight electrons. And the third element is argon. The atomic number is eighteen. Okay, our most shell, third shell, that is M shell. Here, three S subshell has two electrons. Three P subshell has six electrons. Then two plus six, uh, the the next element, yes, the element argon, also having eight electrons in its valence shell. Yes. Then we can observe that here. We can we can observe that except helium. All other inert gas, inert gas atoms, having eight electrons in its outermost shell. Okay. Due to the presence of this eight electron in its outermost shell, the noble gases are stable and do not take part in. chemical reaction yes okay then 
yes dn lewis a famous scientist he proposed a very important rule regarding chemical bonds please listen that is octet to rule octet to rule yes what is meant by octet to rule please listen every element except hydrogen and helium try to attain eight electron configuration in the outermost shell that is valence shell this is known as octet rule or we can say that every atoms enter into chemical reaction so as to attain eight electron configuration in its outermost shell this is known as octet rule octet rule okay all the electrons in an atom are not involved in the process of chemical bonding for example sodium atomic number is 11 its the shell wise electronic configuration is 281 sodium atomic number is 11 like we can say that sodium atom has 11 electrons okay then this 11 electrons the level electrons of sodium are not involved in the process of chemical bonding that is only the outer shell electrons of an atom are involved in the process of chemical bonding and these electrons are known as valence electrons Okay, what is meant by valence electrons? What are valence electrons? The electrons present in the outermost shell of an atom are called valence electrons. These valence electrons take part in chemical reaction or chemical bond formation. For example, sodium. Okay, sodium atom. The uh, is only one electron present in the outermost shell that is M shell. this one electron take part in chemical bond formation yes okay then we can say that these valence electrons play very important role in chemical bond formation then gn lewis the famous scientist gn lewis introduced the symbol notations to represent the valence electrons okay the valence electrons are shown by dots or crosses around the symbol okay how can we represent the valence electrons the valence electrons can be represented by dots or crosses around the symbol of that element these symbols are called Lewis symbol or Lewis notation. Let us uh, discuss some uh, examples. Okay. Lithium. The atomic number is three. Okay. Its electronic configuration is. Two comma one. Then we can say that lithium atom has one valence electron. Yes. How can we represent this one valence electron? Yes, look. Yes, using Lewis symbol. First, we have to write the symbol of lithium. That is La. Then, yes. This one valence electron can be represented using dots around this symbol. Dot or cross. Okay. Then the next element is beryllium. Beryllium atomic number is four. Its electronic configuration is 
2 comma 2 okay these two valence electron of beryllium can be represented using two dots around the symbol of beryllium that is be and then two dot next boron atomic number boron atomic number is uh, 5 its electronic configuration is 2 comma 3 then we can say that boron atom has three valence electrons these three valence electrons can be represented using three dots around the symbol of boron yes then carbon atomic number 6 2 comma 4 carbon atom has four valence electrons okay then nitrogen atomic number 7 7 2 comma 5 nitrogen atom has three valence electrons sorry five valence electrons nitrogen atom has five valence electrons then oxygen atomic number is 8 2 comma 6 oxygen atom has uh, six valence electrons okay then fluorine atomic number is 9 9 okay 2 comma 7 its electronic configuration fluorine atom has 7 valence electrons okay then please listen the Lewis symbol indicates the valency of an atom Lewis symbol indicates the valency of the atom the valency means what the combining capacity of an atom yes please listen the common valency of an element the common valency of an element is either equal to number of dots is either equal to number of dots or equal to or equal to 8 minus number of dots the common valency of, a, of an element is equal to number of dots or equal to 8 minus number of dots that means if the number of valence electrons or number of dots yes 4 or less than 4 the valency equal to number of dots or number of valence means here the valency of uh, lithium the valency of lithium is 1 beryllium is 2 boron is 3 and carbon is 4 then the valency of nitrogen yes here nitrogen atom has more than 4 electrons nitrogen atom has 5 electrons or uh, 5 dots then the valency of nitrogen is equal to 8 minus 5 that is 3 yes 3 is the valency of nitrogen 3 is the valency of nitrogen yes oxygen the valency of oxygen oxygen atom has a 6 valence electron then 8 minus 6 that is 2 the valency of oxygen is 2 and the valency of fluorine 8 minus 7 that is equal to 1 okay okay students in my next video I will discuss the different types of chemical bonding. Okay. Goodbye. Study well.